I'm George Harrison. Music can make a world of difference in the life of a child, as it did in mine. Help keep music alive in our schools. I would like to thank the Liverpool legends for this whole experience for our students here at Moline High School. From the choir and the band and the orchestra and even our technical students in stagecraft, this whole experience has been one of just significant learning. We have really gained much just from the experience of performing with these guys and the total experience, the whole package is there. We're just really grateful to Marty and Louise and everybody. We want to thank them very much. Thank you. What an awesome experience uh, I have had in working with uh, Liverpool Legends this uh, weekend. Uh, and a great opportunity for our students to participate in both in an educational and a benefit of our music department. It's been just terrific. This was amazing! Oh my God! Do it again, do it again, do it again! Right now we're in the middle of the afterglow, okay? We just finished the show. The energy from the audience has been just incredible. The kids are sky high right now. And I just can't really say thank you enough. This has been a great experience. Here we are, a pretty traditional school system with a traditional choir band orchestra program. In two weeks our choir is gonna sing the Haydn Mass in Time of War in Carnegie Hall, but tonight we're singing with the Beatles. How much better can it get? Well, there's countless, there's a countless number of Beatles tribute bands across the country, across the world. I've seen a number of them. That's right, but only the members of Liverpool Legends can say they were handpicked by the sister of Beatle George Harrison. You just returned from the Grammys, didn't you? A nomination uh, there? Yes. Yeah. yeah. How yeah. was that? 
It's amazing. Yeah, Marty. Incredible. It, it, it was something that we just got involved in. It was a sort of a Beatle fan CD with a bunch of interviews, and Louise narrated it, and we did all the Beatles songs. They got nominated for a Grammy up against Betty White and Val Kilmer and Tina Fey. Well, that's amazing. What category was that for? It was like, spoken word. Yeah, mm -hmm. and Betty White won, but it's okay to lose the Betty White, you know. Did you enjoy the red well, carpet, Louise? Not much. <laughs> well, I Wearing the it. jewels and all that. <laughs> Marty enjoyed it. I sure did. You know. but what we started doing is uh, working with schools, with the music directors, because as we all know, education is being vastly underrated right now and of course music education mm -hmm. is at the bottom of the totem pole as far as funding mm -hmm. so we thought that as musicians this is one of the problems that maybe we could help to defray a little bit you know obviously we can't save all of the schools or anything but at least we can try and at least we can have fun trying and everybody else can have fun with us so we go perform a concert just like our normal broadway show quality mm -hmm. show but we have the students, all of the music students in the, um, theater, you know, in the schools, they learn half a dozen of our songs mm -hmm. and then in the second half of the show they come on stage with us and perform along with the band and we just have a wonderful time and then we're able to give a nice chunk of money to the school at the end of the day. I think it's an important cause. As a musician myself, mm -hmm. Marty, you know as a musician this is an mm -hmm. important cause to get, school back, uh, get music back into the schools. beloved George Harrison of the Beatles. She's involved with the Beatles tribute band and these days she started a nonprofit to carry on George's work and keep music alive in schools. It's amazing how much the Liverpool legends remind audiences of the Beatles. It's a wonderful, wonderful show. Very, you know, well done and very entertaining. They headline a show in Branson and George Harrison's real life sister Louise is involved with the group. Along with the Liverpool legends, Louise formed a non-profit called Louise Harrison's Help Keep Music Alive. Back in the uh, late 90s, my brother, for the first and only time in his life, did a public service announcement and that was in conjunction with the movie Mr. Holland's Opus and he was uh, trying to encourage people to make sure that there was funding for music education. Their mission is to raise money for music programs in schools and they do that by throwing a concert. The music departments are always the first thing to get cut, you know, art departments these days. If high school is interested, Liverpool Legends will send some of the Beatles songs to the music director. We send the music in advance and they, they rehearse it for, you know, maybe a few weeks. On the selected day, they will come in town, rehearse with the band, choir, orchestra or dance team, and throw a concert for everyone. The first half of the show is just the Liverpool Legends. The students join them for the second half. But we also have students, uh, you know, helping us with uh, lighting and sound and uh, stage direction. The show where they all come together and play some great rock and roll music. You might even want to stand up and do the hippie hippie shake. Give the kids an experience of a lifetime, you know, to, to be part of like a real show. To find out more about the Help Keep Music Alive program or to sign up your school, call 417-893-0464 or head to helpkeepmusicalive.org. You can see the Liverpool Legends perform. They're coming to the pageant on Saturday, April 21st. I wanted to share with you our experience uh, with the Liverpool Legends. Awesome is, is probably the best thing I can, I can use to explain it. It's different than anything we've done, we've ever tried to do or uh, have ever really considered. 
was a really wonderful experience for our students to experience music that touches a lot of people. And I, I think probably one of the biggest uh, and most important reasons I'm grateful for it was that the students had a chance to see what it was like to uh, share the stage with performers, uh, understand how an audience can interact with uh, performance. Uh, I feel like sometimes with classical music or band music performances, uh, students don't have that feedback, that, uh, you know, that real sense of applause and appreciation. And with music that's a little bit more accessible to the audiences, uh, this court sort of created that, uh, you know, that there is some ownership in what they're doing and that the students can be proud of it uh, on a very tangible level. But on another level, I think it's really great for our town and our community to see um, the music education that's happening isn't, uh, isn't being lost. And it's uh, a really wonderful exposure piece for not just the, the people and families in our town or our taxpayers, but a lot of the folks that are in the area that maybe don't get a chance to get out much to see uh, something wonderful. So for that, we were really grateful. The band was wonderful interacting with our students, uh, really made them feel at home. Uh, even though we were at our own school, uh, it's a lot of times very daunting and intimidating to be with, you know, professional performers. But uh, the, the group was great. Louise was wonderful, and uh, yeah, from the crowd's perspective, there were tons of people that just want to see it again and again and again. So, uh, really great experience. You should try. You should check it out for sure. Thanks. I think they learn um, just the whole presentation, the whole what it's all about to put a show together. That's going to be the backup for the Liverpool Legends. And I'm excited because I think it's going to be a unique experience once in a lifetime. Like, not many kids would ever get this experience, and especially in such a small town. I'm really excited. I think it's a good experience for us. I think it will bring some cool attraction to Chester and get us kind of out of that because we're kind of a small school. <laughs> How awesome was that? Tonight was the legend's first show in South Dakota. The members of the group, by the way, were hand-selected by George Harrison's sister, Louise.